Hello! In this tutorial we're going to be talking everything sound sets. Everything you need to know about the sound sets in the player and the sound set uh, inspector in the creator functionality. Fantastic! If you don't know how to uh, get sounds working in the online player and you're not hearing them already, playing them on a device and it's all linked up and everything, then go back a step to the previous tutorial and that's where you can find that stuff out. Fantastic! So here I am playing the Red Dragon City Raid. Excellent, I'm going to trigger Dragonfire. Oh my, that's fantastic. Excellent. And I want to customize this sound set to create a new mood just like you can in the offline players and uh, be able to use that setting and preserve that setting. So I'm going to click this properties button here bling, and bring up the uh, sound set section. That's what we're going to be talking today. But this is an official sound set and cannot be edited. 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 <laughs> Duplicated. <laughs> I can speak English. Duplicated to make changes. Okay, I'm gonna hit the duplicate button. Excellent. See the little blue line up there? That means that the server is working and don't rush it. Excellent. Red Dragon City Raid Custom. My gosh, it's made a copy of this sound set that works just the same as the previous sound set. Let's see if it does. Excellent. Fantastic. And it says at the moment that this is a private sound set with custom moods that's interesting now i don't have to be a subscriber to create and modify moods just like i could in the offline player so i'm going to do that here let's see what happens i'm going to turn down the stone music because say i want to have something with some more burning no cathedral bells and no women screaming because they're all brave good it still says private custom moods and I'm going to save that. My mix. Create a mood. Excellent. Good. And now I have this mood. Yep, just the same. And it still says it's a private sound set with custom moods. Now I will retain access to that as long as I have access to the Red Dragon City Raid sound set. Interesting. But we're going to go further with our customization. <laughs> Shut this up a little bit and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the sound set tab here in the online player Fantastic. So from the very top there is the duplicate button again and duplicate button there So we can uh, create extra copies of this and continue to work We could have various different versions of, of red dragons, but we want to make a different dragon altogether. So we're going to go brown Dragon uh, Swamp raid Fantastic. I'm going to delete the custom there Oh, it's an X swamp swamp Re brave uh, brown dragon swamp raid fantastic good it's going to show by default in the fantasy player so we can actually install this content it will appear now <laughs> it's not right uh, in the fantasy player like any other content and can be installed with my uh, special uh, moods as well and you can see here preparing download for fantasy player so once that's complete uh, you can then install that content in the fantasy player and it's going to make that new preparation that new download every single time you make a significant change now watch this we are ultimately going to be making significant changes in here so let me change one of these parameters Boom. aha uh -huh. and what's happened up here private custom so now this is a unique sound set which may have uh, completely different settings it's completely modified it might have different samples it might have uh, a mix and match of different elements from um, different sound sets around the place and now it's a private custom sound set and that sound set is only accessible as long as you maintain any level of siren state subscription right if that all makes sense well done if you need to ask some clarifying questions you can do that too uh, what else have I got here? Yes, the initial volume. A lot of the things we do in the in creation process is making sounds softer. We take a sample which might be quite loud, but then we position it uh, 20 meters away and then we set the volume on the element to be only 50%. So that makes it softer. And we can actually get a situation where the sound set itself overall is quite soft compared to other sound sets. So we can boost this setting or good, a good place to start is like 135% or 140%. Um, and that goes all the way up to 200%, all the way to 11 And uh, can you can then balance that sound set with um, all the other sound sets that are in your fantasy player. Or you can play it here as well. Good, I shall just hide myself so I can show this button. You can also set a reverb preset. Excellent. Let's go sewer pipe. And we can also apply that to all the elements in the creation process. 
I think that's everything. It's preparing a download for the Fantasy Player because of that change I just made and it will work away. And then I can install this in the Fantasy Player or any of my normal ways I can play Sirenscape Soundsets and uh, yeah, use them offline or whatever I like. Right, in the next uh, tutorial, 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 I will be looking at the mood inspector and all the wonderfulness that is in there. And I'll give you a detailed overview of that. Goals, how lovely. Oh, by the way, that's a stop button and that's the master volume there. But if you haven't worked that out yet, then just play around a bit more. See you soon.